Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have been in a vicious court battle for a few years now. One of the things that they argued about was whether or not Amber Heard donated the settlement that she had with Johnny Depp of $7 million to charity. Back in 2018, Amber said that she had donated the entire amount, the entire $7 million that Johnny Depp and her had settled. Amber has stated that she's independently wealthy and it was never about the money. When asked for receipts, Amber said that it was private, her donations to charity, and that she had pledged that she was going to give the money. But she never had any receipts. Johnny then had to take action by going after the ACLU as nobody was complying with subpoenas. He then went to New York, got permission to have Benjamin Chu represent him in New York City as he was an attorney in the state of Virginia, not attorney in the state of New York. Once he got that authority, the judge decided to make an order based on them going to Virginia, trying to get the ACLU to prove that Amber Heard had indeed, in fact, donated the money. This is a huge win for Johnny Depp, who's we're about to read the order passed down from the judge from Virginia. Johnny has commenced this special proceeding to enforce a series of out-of-state subpoenas issued by the petitioner's New York Council. Pursuant to the Civil Practice Law and Rules, the CPLR 3119, to the respondents, the ACLU, otherwise known as the American Civil Liberties Union Foundation, and its employees, Benjamin Wiesner and Anthony Romano. Petitioner asserts that compliance with the subpoenas is material and necessary to the prosecution of the defamation action currently pending in Virginia. The petitioner commenced the Virginia action on March 1st of 2019 for defamation based on statements his ex-wife Amber Laura Heard made in an opinion piece published by the Washington Post on December 18th of 2018 that the petitioner had committed domestic abuse against Ms. Heard during their marriage. It is undisputed that the ACLU suggested Ms. Heard write and assisted her in submitting the opt-ed to the Washington Post. In a related legal proceeding in the UK, the United Kingdom, Ms. Heard claimed that she had donated the entire $7 million divorce settlement to the ACLU and non-party Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. And thus, she had no financial motive to falsely claim that Mr. Dett had abused her during the marriage. Petitioner now seeks discovery from the ACLU and its employees to confirm whether Ms. Heard has in fact donated the entire $7 million settlement to charity. The petitioner has satisfied the initial burden of stating the circumstances or reasons underlying the subpoena. With the exception of one category of demanded documents, the ACLU has failed to demonstrate that the information sought is utterly irrelevant to the action. However, this court finds that the documents requested concerning Ms. Heard's role as an ambassador for the ACLU are irrelevant to the petitioner's defamation case, which pertains only to the statements Ms. Heard made in her opt-ed, and the petitioner has failed to otherwise demonstrate why such documents are material and necessary for his prosecution. The ACLU's argument that the subpoena is improper, as Mr. Depp could obtain the information from another source is unveiling as CPLR 3101A4 imposes no requirement that the subpoenaing party demonstrate that it cannot obtain the requested disclosure from any other source. The disclosure is relevant to the prosecution or defense of an action and must be provided by the non-party. So Johnny Depp has got a huge win here as the ACLU now must provide the proof that Amber Heard has paid, and this is a loss for Amber and the ACLU, but what is to become of this? Will Amber Heard now suggest that this is all the ACLU's fault and not hers, as they're the ones who wrote the op-ed and convinced her to be a part of it, and the ACLU has withhold information? Could be. But either way, one way or the other, we're now going to see the truth, and the truth is that Amber Heard did not donate the money to the children's hospitals as she has claimed. 
Amber Heard's attorney said that she didn't donate. She admitted it. And she said the reason was because Johnny sued Amber and Amber had to pay attorney's fees. So what do you make of all this? To me, this is a huge win, a big win for Johnny Depp. The ACLU now has to come forward and show just how much Amber didn't donate. There'll be more about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard as you stay tuned to this channel. We've got more info coming out. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you next time. Be safe, be well, and thank you for your support. And I will see you soon. Take care, everyone. Ciao for now.